This could be a major problem for Canada. I'm not sure many saw this coming, but Canada got embarrassed by Czechia to kick off the 2023 World Juniors yesterday. So where's the problem? A complete lack of discipline and buying into their own hype. Team Canada came in and on the power play went up early on a beautiful Shane Wright deflection. The captain gets things started, but Czechia came back hard and added one pretty late in the first to tie things up. Adam Fantilli just appeared to have little defensive awareness here. He's got the shoulder check here, so all good, and he knows he's got plenty of time and space. But then he got caught up in watching the puck. In a split second, gives up his position and leads to a Spocek goal. Just 35 seconds later, a shot from the point off of the faceoff gives the Czechs a late period lead. Now there's a bunch of traffic here, but no one got in the lane to block it. And while it was just the end of the first, it was indicative of how the rest of the game would go. To start the second, Czechia came out early and scored their third on a complete collapse by Canada, giving Svozil an easy path to just walk in and score. Now down 3-1, to one, Canada was desperate and they needed to make something happen. Happened. And just 45 seconds later, Connor Bedard answered the call. On a terrible turnover by Czechia, he's able to get off a beauty of a shot and get it back to within just one. At this point, you think, hey, maybe Canada's about to take this game back. Instead, Zach Dean gets a match penalty on this hit, deemed to be a hit to the head, and suddenly Canada is facing a five-minute penalty kill. Not insurmountable by any means, but you're going to need a solid team effort to beat this, and in a time that a team didn't seem to be in their vocabulary, things were looking bleak. Czechia went on to score twice during this five-minute power play, going up 5-2 to two on one from Milash, who was left all alone in front of the net, and then another from Menchik, one that Goudreau just can't let in. A stunned Team Canada had no answers as the defending champs took a 5-2 to two loss on day one. So what went wrong? Again, Team Canada attempted two Michigans in the first period alone. Now, did these two attempts cause them to lose? Absolutely not. I'm not going to claim that, but what it was was very reflective of the team's mental space coming into this one. They seemingly felt they were going to come in and because a win was guaranteed, they were going to make it flashy, trying to individually make the highlight reels. I mean, they're Team Canada after all, the best team since the 05 team. What they forgot, though, is that you can't win on skill alone. You still need to put the work in and play a fundamentally sound game. Too many missed assignments, getting too cute with the puck, and bad penalties will not win you games, regardless of how skilled you are. Now, don't get me wrong. I want to see young, skilled players go out there and put on a show, but you can't lose sight of the fact that you still need to earn it. If you go out there and lose a game 5-2 to two that you were expected to win and pull this kind of cocky individual play, you think Czechia is going to sit there and applaud you for your skills competition? Or is it going to motivate them to play as a team and go out there and beat you? Because that's what they did. Then there was their lack of discipline. Canada took penalty after penalty, and whether it deserved a match penalty or not, that Zach Dean hit was going to be a penalty either way, at a time where they could couldn't afford it. Now with all that said, it was just the first game and the positives are that when they pulled Goudreau for Milic, he played solid. Now was this all on Goudreau? No chance, but he certainly wasn't spectacular by any means. Further, Bedard also dazzled and overall guys like Brant Clark played really well. So as long as they take this loss and learn from it, maybe this highly skilled team of individuals can learn to gel and play like a team. Not looking for highlight reels, but for wins. If they do, I think they're going to be just fine.